presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day. To be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind, or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling, prowling us out here, because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. I have the courage to ask questions and do as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answers to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 16, NASDAQ up 201, S&P's up 28. Gold, gold contract up $7.40, trading at 19.23 an ounce. We have silver up 61 cents, $23.67 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 44 cents, $80.81 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading at 109.03. The third year off a full point plus 11 ticks at 117.28. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now. There we go. King Dollar down 84 ticks, trading 103.293. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to start with the S&Ps, the futures, because I want to show you what this uh, future did this morning, and that's why we're going to be... Well, the bounce has started. We finished you know, an ABC structure down. It went right to where it should have gone, bottom line. So if you take a look at this future, what you're going to see out here this morning, which we did is that we came right to, it's pretty amazing actually, right to where we went up on Friday. And we had done 44,000 contracts. That's where we were going into this morning. And that was 4370. And we got down to 4372, and we did that with 21,000. And particularly when I was watching this, I said, oh, this is about as deviant as it get, meaning that you had already gone up, right brought them in come back down as you come back down you can see you had volume when you come back down it's like oh no here we go again and the bottom line is that the volume contracted in a dramatic way okay so that's the s p i suspect we're going to keep going higher if we go over to the spy what you're going to see is this take a look at the spy the spy we got down into the price point of uh 433.01. Now, I suspect what we're going to do, if you take a look at this, the last time that we had volume on the way, not volume on the way down, but what's sticking out like a sore thumb is right there, is 446.77. Now, you take this, if you do the fib on the 446.77, it would just be deviant enough. That's a 50% retracement of the way down. Now the first day up, we are contracting with light volume. So what let me get let me clean this chart up again for you. Because if that's what we do and we do it with light volume, all that's done is set up a monster ABC down. Because I want to show you this. The bigger issue is this. We broke lower with conviction. And what we did, what we're where it would go is that by the time we actually get up there, we do two different things. You do a 50% retracement of the move, but see this big trend line that I have? 
Uh, my bigger take is that we're going to get down to this uh, 340 level. Is it 340? No, it's 380. Okay? Because we broke it with such conviction, you know, it's pretty intense. That, so bottom line is this, is that watch I move this. So if I move this, what you're going to see, i got to move the whole thing. Oh, I can't move the whole thing. Bottom line will end up happening. This line will keep rising, and more than likely that the three, the, I mean the fourth, 46 level will also line up with the trend line. So you break the trend line, the larger trend line. You break it with conviction, with volume. You go back up, you test it. You can't handle it. It goes down south. That's a Bud Rolfs trend line genius play. That's the bottom line. So we'll see where it shakes out, but that's where my head's at right now. Now, the cues. Let's take a look at the cues. So cues also came down and what happened with the cues is that you know the, the cues basically didn't come as far as the s p that being said let me pull this back again as soon as you dug into where its strength was okay which was the uh you know 371 area it's like okay man you're going it did it now this is what's sticking out with the cues the cues still have high volume on the on the on those lows it also is going to have a hard time getting through 367. So the cues are set up a little bit differently. Okay, we could get to probably 373. That's what we'll probably do right there because that's ice. That's how that seems to be setting up. We go to the NQ and we take a look at the futures. I suspect it's going to be the same thing that happened. Now, see, it's, that's even different too. The NQs, that, that was a no-brainer. The NQs, they came off the market with volume this morning, 36,000 contracts, come back and tested it with 10, and then took off. Notes and bonds. Now, this is, this is pretty intense, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, who knows what is going to happen at Jackson Hole here. But you have this 10-year right now at 109.02. And we've done this before, but let me put this again. TY1. I need the generic one. Generic one. Okay. So we take a look at the generic one. We're definitely not holding price. They'll stretch this thing, man. Okay, so right now, I see, okay, well, well right now we're, we're testing the lows that were established out here about a year ago, which is the 108.26. We've hit 108.31 right now. 108.24, we've hit 108.34. And this is gonna be contingent on the good old dollar. You know, the dollar still looks to me like it wants to go to the next highest swing, but it's gonna, it's gonna be a close call here, man. As, as is gold. As soon as we get back, I'll do gold. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is flat. Nasdaq's up by 215. S&Ps are up 33. Uh, so first, let's, let's go to the gold market first. You know, we're getting there, folks. Um, it's getting real close. And if you've never tested the gold report, folks, okay, now's the time to do it. This has been quite a pullback. I'm telling you, get over there, test drive it. You can, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, and take it for what it's worth. Check it out. Um, we did buy another gold stock today. Actually, I did bought a silver stock. Um, anyway, what gold is this? This is how this is shaken out. You, you know, you've been sliced and diced all the way from the price point up here of 2129. You're at 19, 1929. You hit 1913. Last week we hit uh, 1914. You can see this is where the strength was. The bottom of the strength is 1904. So, you know, we're coming into that area. Now, what you, you're going to need is you're going to need a sign of strength. My, my take still is that 1904 can be hit. That's, the, that's, that's number one, okay? So, when you take a look at it, it's like, okay, man. You know, the reality is that each and every one of these equities have come down to that, except there is divergence, and the, and, and the divergence goes like this. A few of them have only come down to the swing point that was in June. Now, if you're looking at gold or silver equities, that is really cool because the fact of the matter is if you only come down to June, the rest of them down to March, and a couple of them, yeah, watch this, Royal Gold is actually bypassed it's March 1, it went to the November 1, okay? It's coming up today, but the bottom line is that you can see, one second, here we go. You can see that it bypassed its March 1, the bottom of the March 1 was 132, no, 111. It, all, it got all the way down to 106, took out two swings, you know, that's pretty intense, man. Now, if we go to the GDX, and we take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see is you're right the bottom, the, the 1904, folks, relates to, on the GDX, 27, 2714. Well, we hit 2727 today. We hit 2730 on Friday. 
you're hitting these levels at 9 million plus, we did 18 million on Friday. My take there is that the gold equities are going to come off the low. Now, my, my bigger take is that silver is going to come off the low first. Let me show you why. If we go to silver, what you're going to see inside silver, and this probably has to do with, uh, you know, uh, Jackson Hole this week. Got, yeah, see, silver's moving then. See, if you take a look at silver, see, gold's all the way down here. Gold's all the way in March, right? Silver rejected its low at 2260. That's a good scene, man. That's a whole different ball game. So silver's saying, nope, I, I'm done with this. So now if we go to the dollar, this is where it's going to get interesting. Because what that would be saying is that maybe the dollar just doesn't go to, my take was that the dollar could get up to this, 104, 699, the next swing point. And maybe that's, maybe it's just going to hang at this 103, 573. We've been up here a couple days right now. And maybe the way we came down there is just enough that that dollar is going to give it up. As soon as the dollar gives it up, and I, I think that's, the more I start thinking about it, particularly because you hear my take on this deal. My take is that it's going to be a big bounce out of here and the S&P. And as I'm looking at the gold market, my take is that the silver market, to me, the silver market definitely bottomed. The gold market is close. And in order for that to happen, the dollar has to come down. In order for the, for the big bounce to happen, the dollar has to come down. So the more I put it together, you know, it looks to me like that's where we're going. The thing that is intense, <laughs> but Jackson Hole will do the same thing. If the Powell comes out of Jackson Hole and says, okay, man, you know, enough's enough. Um, this bond market will bounce also. So it's going to get really intriguing. Anyway, so we go to the XAU, the HUI. You're going to see the same setup that the XAU, the HUI, have also got to the... I'll put the volumes up here. You're going to see the volumes have contracted in a dramatic way. And this has gone on so long that, you know, I can... This is when you can really get some action. Okay, so the XAU is going into 30 million shares. Well, we did 18 million on Friday. We're going to do less today, and we actually went to a lower low. We go to the Gold Bugs Index. Pull this up. Let's get the volume behind the move. Okay. You're going into 36 million, and Friday we did 11 million. Yeah, 11 million to 36 million. So, if you haven't test drove the gold report, folks, go test drive it. You get 30 days, you'll see where my head's at, you'll see what the equities are on there. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, guess what? Just cancel it and you don't pay for it. Now, let's go take a couple look at uh, a couple that are in trouble, though. You got Heckler. Now, Heckler had a big fire in their mind, okay? Don't touch this thing. And bottom line, he's going to take some heat here, man. You know? This, this was going down anyway, broke lower, as a fire in the mine. They're going to have to, bottom line, they, they're specifically saying that they're going to change their outlook, okay? The bottom of this consolidation is 340, but it looks to me like this thing wants to go to like 310. So right now you're trading at 414, and what is 310? Yeah, there it is right there. That's interesting. It's the beginning of its strength. Is that it? Yeah. So, what month is this? Okay, that's in 2020. That's where this thing wants to go. And what is going to happen, if you happen to own this, let me just read this little blurb for you, because you want to understand, they said flat out, no one was in the mine, no one got hurt. That This is their biggest mine, by the way, folks. Uh, you know, this is a lucky, lucky Friday mine, it's a huge mine. Um, let's see. The incident expected to impact production and cost guidance for the mine. Steps are being taken to ensure that the fire is extinguished before normal ventilation is reestablished. No personnel were in the mine. Company working on a plan to resume production and update 2023 guidance. So.
the bottom line is that, you know, this is mining's always dangerous, and unfortunately, they had a fire. The good news is that no one was in the mine in a, in a monster way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a huge, huge deal, no doubt about that. You know, well, let's go to the GLD and finish this up, because if you go to the GLD, what you're going to see is that the GLD was coming into... 13 million shares, and you've done three. How's that? <laughs> yeah. You've done three, and you've done... It, okay, we did seven on Thursday. We came into that today with three. We're going higher, man. This is... These turns are happening right here, right now. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We get the Dow up uh, three. NASDAQ up 217. S&P's up 33. We'll come right back. Attention traders and investors, are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The Golden Opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's down 10, NASDAQ's up 205, S&Ps are up 30. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And this is going to be a low volume day out here, folks. You got to, well, you got to remember, it's still summer trading, but the correlations that you want to take here is you want to take the correlation of how we came down versus how we're going to go back up. That's going to tell you a lot about the strength inside the marketplace out here. We have um, Tesla's up 14 bucks. You get uh, NVIDIA up 34. NVIDIA's coming out with their numbers after the close on Wednesday. You get Marbell up five cents. We get uh, Advanced Micro up two dollars, three dollars rather. Let's go into the NDX actually. This is an easier way of doing it. So the moves inside the NDX is that you have 
Palo Alto up 14.5%, Moderna up 10%, NVIDIA up 8%, and Tesla up 6%, 6.5%. Taken away from his line, technologies off 1.8, series off 1.7, Dexcom's off 1.1, and Marriott's off 1. Inside the Dow Industrials, point-wise, this is what we have. You have Microsoft putting 37 positive points, Salesforce 25, Visa 12, Apple 8. Taken away from it. Johnson & Johnson, minus 29, Goldman 18, Home Depot 17. Now, if you take a look at this is this is how you when you're bisecting and dissecting markets, folks. Okay, particularly on a bounce, what you're going to be looking for, you know, go to the stronger stocks and see what they're looking like. Okay, Microsoft, bottom line, Microsoft's down from 364 here, 322. You know, not the volume's not bad on Microsoft today. Okay, yeah, you know, you get 15 million, so that's really like a toss up. You know, we we came down on the 24. 15 on the way up. I, to me, that's a toss-up. We go take a look at uh, Apple. Now, this is saying lower prices are coming with, with Apple. You know, Apple's off its highs of uh, 198. You can now with big volume. And you can see you're going up with 31 million. When we're averaging, not averaging down, but all last week you're doing 61 million on the way down. That's telling me that, yeah, you're going to take the next leg down. NVIDIA. Now, this is a monster one, there's no doubt, particularly because they're coming out with the numbers after the close on Wednesday. This is going up with volume. What you can see up here is that this high actually has volume. So I suspect we're going to go test this high once again, which is it's right next to it. So... That shouldn't be too hard. Now, if we take a look at the numbers, let's see what they're, they're looking for right now. They are looking for, look at this number, man. They're looking to go from seven, they did 7.2 billion last quarter to 11 billion this quarter. <laughs> and they made a dollar nine last quarter and they're looking to make two dollars and seven cents this quarter man they better come out with that number because that is one huge deal let's go to our man john in orlando hey john what's going on brother hey good afternoon to you uh tom how are you i'm doing great man how you been good good, good. uh right trying to stay out of the heat and yeah i want to ask you about qualcomm um why is it not performing uh, like the other semis? You know, like, uh, what do you think of the chart? Let's take a look. So Qualcomm, you have a year, the, the low for the year is 101. The high is 147. Next time it comes out with their numbers is on November 2nd. So you're coming back into the strength, you know. You come down with light volume. Let me put this on a month I don't put on a weekly first and a monthly let's see what we got you know the difference is uh, as to your question about the aspect of the other equities meaning the chip equities this is a this is a company that makes money on their royalties you know so it's a different setup for sure than an Nvidia I mean that that's it's it, it's chip royalties yeah it's it, not they don't produce they don't produce it really yeah right? So, you know, you got to be a little bit careful here. It's in a consolidation, John. Um, you know, it might hold at this point. You know, but you can see, see the way that we came down off that high? That's pretty intense, man. 73 yeah. million shares. I think you can get a bounce to like 114, 115. You know, yeah. if you can get uh, through that, that area. Volume, that down be, volume is too hard. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. Now, see, on a monthly, it's not bad, though. On a monthly, it's been consolidating here for a while, actually. Yeah, this is just okay. a consolidation, man. That you'd like to see it get to 117 again. If, you, if you're looking at this as a longer-term deal, this 117 is important. Uh, could I ask you uh, another one real quick? Sure. Um, um, I've been forward, and I got a losing position. I got in, like, about 14, 15 and 
I don't know what I'm thinking about getting out. I'm not sure. What do you think of that? What it, what it looks like? Did you say Ford? Yes. Okay, yes. let's take a look at Ford. Ford, you get the lows 1036, the highs 1542. They come out October 26th. Okay, put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is in a consolidation too, long-term consolidation. Put it on a monthly for a second. Yeah, I'd stay right there, John. It's it's going to be hard to, for this to break eleven dollars and seventeen cents, and you'll probably revisit the fifteen. See that? Watch this. Yeah. That's that's a big volume month there, man. That's one point eight million. We came down thus far with seven hundred sixty million. It's not even got to get close. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I kind of stay right oh, okay. there. So it, it has support then. Yeah, it is. It is, and okay. there's, a, there's a lot of support there. And so the next time they're looking is the 26th of October. They're looking to take in 40, $40 billion. You can see it's going to be $5 billion less than last quarter, but they're still making $0.45. Cents. They're still making money. It looks like they're still, make they're still making money. That's the bottom line. So. All righty. Have okay. a good day. Uh, okay, man. Have a great one, man. Thanks. Have a safe one. The when we take a look at the uh, overall volumes today, you're, you're going to see how they, you know, they're going to contract out here today, folks. OK, right now, what we did on the NYSE on Friday, we did a billion uh, versus the nine hundred and thirty five million the pro following day, prior day. Today, you're only going to do probably about eight hundred million. If that we're at four thirty six. Now, what was intriguing is this. This is what was also telling you a bounce is coming in a monster way because the NASDAQ is the one that always has the higher volume. We only did $4.8 billion on the NASDAQ on Friday. That was one of the big clues, too. It was coming into 5.3 5 the day before, 4.8. That was saying that you only get so much selling, folks, and so much buying. I mean, well, the buying seems to last a lot longer. The selling is the same deal. You're coming down, sell, 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 and then, oh, then you need to bounce. Dow, Dow's down one, NASDAQ's up 215, S&P's are up 33. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries up 21, Nasdaq's up 222, Nas uh, S&Ps are up 36. They're going to run this thing, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, my, you're just going to love markets, man. Particularly, you know, when you get these tradable markets. And this is this is a big tradable market. And in particular, you know, yeah, if you take a look at this SPY, I mean, everything, you know, we, we went quite a way down, man. You know, and you're going to be surprised how fast you can bounce, too. That's, that's the thing. It's going to be wild. I mean, you can kind of see, you know, you broke everything, right? Not everything, but, you, you know, you broke. You got all the way back to, let's see, we'll get back to the beginning of June. That's where we went, right? You come down, you come off it with volume, you did an ABC structure down, went almost went right to the number on the way down, hit it, rejected it. Now, bottom line, you can, it can run back up, huge contraction of volume, and we'll see how it follows through. But I, my take is that we are going to follow through, too. And there'll be some head fakes. The head fake this morning was a beauty, man. I was... I was almost, la I was laughing actually when it was happening because I said, oh, look at this. This is going to be a beauty, you know, if in fact it comes in and that's exactly what it did, you know, because that's what markets love to do. And this one's set up just for it, particularly because we went straight up since last March. I mean, straight up. And then oh, I didn't do this one. What did we do off of this one? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, see, we, we didn't even do a 0 0.382 retracement. You know, the, it, we'll see. I'll have a lot, you know, the market will give us a lot more information tomorrow. Because if we do go up tomorrow, which I suspect we're going to, and you have the contraction of volume, then you, gotta, you, you build on an ABC structure down. And then you really can get some action going because what would end up happening is that you'd have the VIX calming down. Let's take a look at the VIX, because the VIX was at 18.05 this morning. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's 16.98 now. That's coming down. That'll pull back. And that pulls back enough. That'll get everyone calm, collective, and then bang! Come at you once again. That's kind of how markets like to move. Let's go take a look at uh, inside of the... So we have... We did the GLD, oh, SLV. That's what we want to do. Because as I said, silver is stronger than gold. We take a look at the SLV. Yeah. And volume's coming in today, too. So the SLV <coughs> came into 29 million, as well as 17 million, and did that with 10. So... That came into two swing points, which is really cool. Because gold already broke one of the swing points. It was going into the March one. Now, and now you're getting up, and you're going up with 11 today. That's how you want to, that's a market that wants higher price. That's the bottom line. That's how that works. So, and the more I keep, we'll see. The more I keep looking at it, though, that's telling me that the dollar is going to uh, basically come back down. 
because the dollar's been strong uh, like a bull, as, as, well, in a, in a monster way. So let's go to the euro. Because the euro is 60% of the dollar index. Okay, yeah, same, it's just the reverse of it. We'll see whether it can get some action going. Yeah, same swing, swing point. The difference is the euro is off, off, up just a bit today, though. And the yen, we take a look at the yen. Yeah, the yen is still higher, man. And what happens with the yen, you want the yen lower. So when the yen goes lower, gold loves to go higher. The yen's still at 146. And then we go take a look at the pound. Yeah, but the pound was higher price too. This, this, that might be it for the buck. That just might be it. Right now we're at 127. Yeah, all, all three of those actually look to me like it's real possible that, uh, yeah, that's how this is set up right now. Now, let's go over to a couple of the South African equities because these things really got hit if you are in the gold or silver market, folks. And they came, they, they, they came into the March lows too, but I'd be real careful of these because these look to me like they're not done going down yet. You know, if you look at Harmony, Harmony's, you know, flat today, but it broke a B point, broke it with volume. If you go to Anglo Ashante, which is a great trading stock, AU, I mean, this is in one monster consolidation, and it's a very large consolidation, so if you can catch it, it's really cool because the top of the consolidation is up there at 30 bucks. And we're at the bottom right now, which is the 16. You know, we just might, you know, this, this might have the contraction. I mean, the, it definitely has a rejection today. But on this one here, I would make sure that you get a sign of strength. And it's because of, the, but this will do it too, probably. If you go over to the Rand dollar, yeah, it's still at 18, 18.95 to one dollar. So we get NVIDIA is going to be coming out. We looked at Apple. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon hasn't filled this gap yet. That gap wants to get filled. You know, uh, the gap on Amazon, the bottom of that gap is the 179.84. We got to 181. That's going to get filled, that gap. That was a monster gap. That's pretty amazing, too, because it got all the way up to the 179 area and just floated away man <laughs> but that wants to get filled and so we got microsoft you get apple we get intel well intel's not really a big deal um nvidia oh tesla let's go to tesla Well, it's not bad in Tesla. So Tesla's down off of this uh, 300 area, 230. But, yeah, okay, so Tesla's going to want lower price. You know, this, this came down with real good juice, straight down. Let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, you, you're going to get a bounce, as the market does. And this, guy, this actually going to bounce to the lows of the high, which is 255. I suspect it's going to consolidate for a bit. That's the way this seems to be set up right now. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 7. Nasdaq's up 219. S&P's up 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up three. Nasdaq's up 217. S&Ps are up 34. And, you know, so we get Jackson Hole. And, you know, last year, if you remember, this is when Powell basically hammered home the aspect that, hey, these interest rates, we are going to hammer you because the, the market wasn't believing that, well, the market still was good, still went up anyway. <laughs> the interest rates went up. But the, even the interest rate market wasn't believing that the Fed was going to continue to go to higher price. So, you know, it's going to be intriguing to see exactly what comes out of Jackson Hole right now, in particular, because it looks to me we're going to have a bounce. So there's something that's going to be dovish my take is something that's going to be dovish that's going to be coming out of jackson hole you know we'll see where it shakes out but that's kind of how this this market is shaking out right now you know so that the market gets some breathing room moves up has lighter volume and then we'll see where the rest of this goes you know if we take a look at the get closer to the close and take a look at some of these volumes out here yeah this is going to be particularly light we're at four 20, 484 inside the NYSE right now. Now they'll they'll put 300 to 400 million inside the NYSE. We're at 3.9 on the Nasdaq. So if I take a look at the Nasdaq, yeah, you get a nice price spread in the Nasdaq though. See, I did 214 in the Nasdaq. Nasdaq's going to take a nice bounce, man. And then let's go to Nike because uh, as one of our tigers is saying, it's his. Benchmark as the market wants to go higher or lower. 
And, well, what's interesting is that Nike's down, but that's a lost engulfing. If you took Teddy, you know, Keg, Stad, Steel, those, those always look, you know, notorious for the way down. But, you know, we'll see how that happens tomorrow because you start higher, you go lower, and you're coming into seven, uh, you're coming into 12 million, you only did five, okay? So Nike's coming out. Oh, that's September 29th, though. Well, I suspect we'll see higher price on Nike tomorrow because that, that's a lost engulfing, man. A lost engulfing is you come all the way down in a downtrend, you start higher, you close lower, it looks like it's gonna be the end of the world, and guess what? No such thing. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get him, folks. 